Hey guys, um, happy Homebrew Wednesday. I'm just recording this a little bit late, but um, we'll, uh, we'll chuck it up shortly. Um, yeah, not, not too much going on, um, but I'll uh, just thought I'd show you what I, what's happening anyway. Um, just enjoying a beer at the moment. It's, um, I've shown you this one before. It's my ale out of the pressure barrel, the rotor keg. Um, yeah, it's really coming out really well. Um, it's about three and a half months, so yeah, just sort of pour a quick one and have a beer while I'm talking to you. Um, probably already mentioned I bottled my Nelson's Salvine Lager. Uh, it was about a week ago, so it's still got a, a fair way to go. And also, you might have seen the video of me making a amber ale, so that's um, that's fermenting away nicely at the moment. Actually, I'll go and uh, go and show you how it's uh, how it's going. Yeah, so here's the uh, the amber ale. It's only been here for three days, so not sure if the airlock's still going. Oh, yep, still bubbling away after three days. So yeah, that's. Um, it's going well. It's sitting at a nice 20 degrees. Quite lucky this is um, a hot water cylinder cupboard. You can actually walk into it. Um, and the good thing about it is it stays at a constant 20 degrees, which is quite good at this time of year. It's our currently our winter, so keeping the temperature up is a bit of a problem. So I haven't got a heat pad or anything. So yeah, this, this um, hot water cupboard works out well. Um, like I say, it gives you a constant 20 degrees Celsius. So yeah, that's the uh, Amber Ale. So I'll, uh, yeah, it's had three days at the moment, so I'll give it another week before I uh, um, check the gravity and then I'll bottle it. And um, what else? So I'll just show you my other beers that are currently conditioning. Yeah, so apart from my pressure barrel in the in the shed um, and the amber ale that's currently brewing uh, this is my my beer stash at the moment that's conditioning up um, because I'm doing the small batches I, I don't produce the large volumes um, so I've got a variety of different beers in here I've got um, still got one of my chocolate stouts left so I'll probably uh, have to drink that one soon and these are my this is my Mosaic um, double IPA, um, the 8.25%. Um, I've only got three of those left, unfortunately. And this is all my Nelson Salvine lager. So there's, um, what have we got there? 10 bottles. That's what I get out of one of my, my small batches, 10 750ml bottles. So yeah, I'll leave that in there. The reason I've got them in plastic bags is. Um, couple of brews back I had one of these um, 750ml bottles um, actually split um, I don't know whether I bottled the beer too soon or what the story is um, but anyway just as a precaution I've got everything sitting in plastic bags so at least the liquids captured and then down here uh, these this is some beer from a friend so I'm not going to review these just yet I'm going to probably wait another couple of weeks but this one here is a Cooper's Stout and this one's actually had an, uh, an addition of orange rind and cinnamon so yeah I'm looking forward to trying that. It was bottled on the what we got the 30th of June so I'll, I think I'll leave it another couple of weeks that'll, that'll give it sort of six seven weeks in the bottle and then it should be, be ready to test out and then we've got a a lager here with some Saz hops in and I think that's a Cooper's lager and with what's it got on there? I'm not sure what the 62 is but anyway that was bottled it was only bottled on the 21st so it's only 10 days so I'll leave that for a couple of weeks yeah so those two bottles are from a friend of mine Carl he, he's um, got into the home brewing in a big way so yeah, so that's my beer stash. Um, just sits in the garage here, and I just close it up and forget about it for a while, and then come back and 
see how it's going. So yeah, it's good temperature in the garage here for uh, for conditioning. So, okay, guys, uh, that's about all. Nothing too exciting. Yeah, thanks for watching, and um, we'll catch up with you in the next video. Okay, cheers.